Hi there, welcome to Sir Matigu channel. Today I'm going to discuss properties of inequality. Here is an illustration of inequality using the number line. This is so simple. Let's take 1 versus 2. 1 is not equal to 2 because 1 is less than 2 or 2 is greater than 1. If we apply this to ourselves, we can say that we are not equal. Each of us is unique. Moving forward, let's talk about the properties of inequality. The first property of inequality is called trichotomy property. For any number A and B, one and only one of the following is true. A is less than B, A is equal to B, and A is greater than B. For example, A is equal to 3 and B is equal to 5. Let us substitute this to our inequality sentences. Only one here is true, and that is 3 is less than 5. The second property is called transitive property of inequality. For any numbers A, B, and C, if A is less than B and B is less than C, then A is less than C. And if A is greater than B, and B is greater than C, then A is greater than C. For example, let's take numbers 1, 2, and 3 on the number line. If 1 is less than 2 and 2 is less than 3, then we could say that 1 is less than 3. And if 3 is greater than 2 and 2 is greater than 1, then we say that 3 is greater than 1. The third property is called addition property of inequality or API. For any numbers A, B, and C, if A is less than B, then A plus C is less than B plus C. And if A is greater than B, then A plus C is greater than B plus C. Example, let's take 1, 2, and 3 on the number line. 1 is less than 2. We add 3 to both sides of this inequality. And we have 4 is less than 5. This is true to our definition. Also, we have 2 is greater than 1. We add 3 to both sides of this inequality. We have 5 is greater than 4. This is true to our definition of addition property of inequality. In other words, if we are going to add numbers the same numbers to both sides of our inequality the inequality does not change the fourth property is called multiplication property of inequality or mpi